we are asked to simplify the given trig expressions. One strategy is to convert to sines and cosines and then perform the given operations, which we will do for these examples using the reciprocal identities. So for number one, remember a fraction bar means division, and therefore let's write number one as secant x divided by cosecant x. And now let's write secant x and cosecant x in terms of sines and cosines, where secant x is equal to one over cosine x and cosecant x is equal to one over sine x. And therefore this is equal to one over cosine x divided by one over sine x. And now let's write the quotient as a product. Dividing by one over sine x is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of sine x over one. So let's write the quotient as a product as one over cosine x times, again, the reciprocal of one over sine x is sine x over one. Nothing simplifies, and therefore we multiply. Multiplying, we get sine x over cosine x. And sine x over cosine x, or sine x divided by cosine x, is equal to tangent x. The given quotient simplifies to tangent x. For number two, we have tangent x divided by secant x. Tangent x is equal to sine x divided by cosine x, and secant x is equal to one over cosine x. Let's write this as sine x over cosine x divided by one over cosine x. And now let's write the quotient as a product. Dividing by one over cosine x is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, which gives us sine x over cosine x times cosine x over one. Before multiplying, notice how we can simplify here because we have a common factor of cosine x between the numerator and denominator. There's one cosine x and cosine x here and here. Multiplying now, we just have sine x times one, which is equal to sine x. Tangent x divided by secant x simplifies to sine x. And for the third example, we have cosecant x divided by cotangent x. And cosecant x is equal to one over sine x. And cotangent x is equal to cosine x divided by sine x. And now let's write the quotient as a product. Dividing by cosine x over sine x is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, giving us one over sine x times the reciprocal of cosine x over sine x is sine x over cosine x. There's a common factor of sine x between the numerator and denominator. There's one sine x and sine x here and here. Multiplying, we have one over cosine x, but one over cosine x is equal to secant x, and therefore cosecant x divided by cotangent x simplifies to secant x. I hope you found this helpful.